Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. I hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have a new update into the regards of the new Rey Skywalker New Jedi Order movie being taken on by Charmaine Obid Chinoy. We're not discussing anything about the director or any of the controversy that she's had in the last couple of weeks uh, for this overall movie and for her joining a galaxy far, far away. We'll save that for other future videos here on the channel. All the more reason to grab that subscribe button. As we're discussing all types of Star Wars related related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. Okay, so in this video, let's take a read from StarWarsNewsNet.com. I'm going to have their article linked in the description down below. We've actually been covering a lot of recent articles from them, a lot of news reports, and it's all for good reason. They're a very reputable source, and uh, I would highly recommend checking them out. Anyway, I'm going to have their article linked in the description down below. So film-related news just can't stop coming this week. After announcing that there was a next Star Wars movie is going to be Jon Favreau's The Mandalorian and Grogu, his Mandalorian-based movie, we have a ton of videos already here discussing and covering that here on the channel. In other Star Wars movie and news updates, Daisy Ridley was asked during a recent press junket about her upcoming project at Lucasfilm. Returning as Rey in a new Jedi Order movie that's set around 15 years after the events of the sequels or The Rise of Skywalker. Though she can't reveal quite a lot about the details, I think that's quite obvious, she's echoed the previous comments saying that she's really excited about the new and, for now, mysterious direction that the film is going to go in. Now, her past comments have kind of said about returning for this movie to begin with, as it was officially announced and confirmed last year at Star Wars Celebration 2023, she said that really what sold her on this idea is coming back for a new and fresh story. She was really all in for it into the regards of what this story has the potential to tell. And that goes for a lot of the sequel actors, actually. Adam Driver, uh, Poe Dameron's Oscar Isaac, and even John Boyega. And even just like the fans and the rest of the Star Wars community, the actors, a uh, part of the sequels, like all of the uh, ones I just had listed right there, feel honestly the same way about the sequels trilogy is that its story wasn't the best it could have been better and that if they were asked to return it would simply depend on what the story is going to exactly be so speaking to Allo sign she said that the following about her early 2023 meeting with kathleen kennedy last year and quote that was actually quite last minute i was actually making my own film last year and kathleen kennedy said that she wanted to have breakfast and meet and i thought we were just you know having breakfast so there i was having my breakfast and she goes oh by the way we might do another one and I'm like okay so I thought about it for a little bit and once I knew what the story was and going to be and everything I knew it was something I really wanted to do actually I think it's really fantastic exploration of the Star Wars world it's a really cool way of taking the story on in a bit of a different direction I need that quote right there once again as she wasn't really able to reveal a whole lot of new details into those regards like plot details of what her movie is actually going to be she's echoed those same kind of responses this is what she said uh, last year at Star Wars Celebration in an interview during Star Wars Celebration of 2023. So she pretty much kind of re-echoed that same response as of two. Well, looking at from the story direction of where the direction of the story is going to go here, the overall script after going over the script, it sounds like, honestly, a really solid idea. The film was subsequently announced at Star Wars Celebration last year, as I had mentioned, with Charmino Bichinoy confirmed to be the director and Stephen Knight as the writer. The status of the project is currently a bit unknown, although we do know is that the final script was recently turned in. Knight, the writer, Stephen Knight, was supposed to have turned in his script before the holidays, but given Lucasfilm's recent change in its priorities on wanting to take on Jon Favreau's Mandalorian movie instead, coming out first before anything else in theaters for Star Wars, it's currently unknown if they'll be taking a little bit more time with that one. Daisy Ridley has revealed back in November, though, that she hadn't read a script yet and that she wasn't asked again until now. I will say, though, however, the director and the writer writers, uh, Charmino Bichinoy, Stephen Knight, and, uh, you know, uh, Daisy Ridley, they don't currently have any other projects kind of going for them for the time being. Their kind of main focus is working on this new Rey Skywalker, New Jedi Order movie, so that's kind of, I think, what they're going to keep on kind of plowing through here. Although Lucasfilm's focus currently is on Jon Favreau's Mandalorian movie, they definitely want his Mandalorian movie to be the first thing to hit the theaters, as I had mentioned, so that would include before having the New Jedi Order movie about Rey Skywalker uh, come Coming out after this new Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Although I do believe it's still actually, you know, it's going to still continue to be worked on and uh, developed, and it's probably going to begin its filming as well later this year alongside Jon Favreau's Mandalorian movie. Like, just because it isn't Lucasfilm as a whole company, its main focus doesn't mean it's not, you know, the director's or Stephen Knight's, the writer, or Daisy Ridley's, you know, main focus as of right now. I definitely think and believe that they're going to continue plowing forward with 
it. And as I kind of had also touched on a little bit earlier on in this video, I think it's a massive green flag of that too into the regards of Daisy Ridley as an actor of that, okay, looking at the story perspective of things, is it worth it to want to return to it? And also, honestly, that goes on to Kathleen Kennedy as an executive producer and being the president of Lucasfilm, stirring up a good premise of an overall story to make the actors want to return in the first place as they have kind of stated before. I think that honestly itself says something about what this story has the potential to do. As I had also mentioned earlier on in this video, for those of you that aren't familiar or for those of you that don't necessarily know quite yet, this new Jedi Order movie about Rey Skywalker, it's being referred to as this new Jedi Order movie essentially. It's set 15 years after the events of The Rise of Skywalker or 15 years after the events of the sequels overall and it looks on to take on uh, having Rey as the center uh, main uh, character, kind of quite obvious, as she rebuilds a new Jedi Order after those events. As of for what the conflict is going to be is simply unknown. The rest of those plot details we can only really speculate on. Although I think another big potential for this movie is that it has that opportunity to fix the sequels, honestly. Take a look and another gander back at them and do some of the things that the sequels didn't necessarily follow through on. And that really goes for both big and small things. Small things like having John Boyega's Finn character finally receive that proper Jedi training and becoming a Jedi and uh, training under Rey, becoming that main protagonist almost to a point like as that secondary main protagonist character, I think we're going to see him follow through, through on it with this movie after his entire marketing scheme was kind of done and followed through with The Force Awakens, marketing him as the main character of these newer movies and then just not having that actually happen is a big false hope and something that left a lot of fans disappointed with to begin with. So kind of recircling around back onto that, making him a more of a prominent or a main character, having him have his Jedi training, I feel like is one of those smaller details. A bigger detail could include the likes of properly explaining Palpatine's return, his his rise and his fall uh, to power throughout the sequels. His quick rise and his quick fall, quite honestly, is just something that felt quite thrown in there. So kind of elaborating on it a bit more is something that this movie has a big opportunity to move on with and do. Also having Hayden Christensen's Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One finally return again, but in the sequel era, I think is something that we're moving forward to more and more, and especially having Dave Filoni move in as a chief creative officer position at Lucasfilm, essentially with what Kevin Feige is, is for Marvel Studios, of by which if you're a Marvel fan, we have our Marvel channel linked in the description down below. Having him undergoing all the kind of creative decisions and overall writing decisions, like big mar marketing, big plot points that we would want to see throughout these storytelling uh, projects overall, shows, movies, and everything in between, he kind of gets a final say in that there as well, alongside with Kathleen Kennedy. Only time is going to tell. We're definitely going to be getting our first official look at the new Jedi Order movie with Rey Skywalker, probably a D23 a little bit later this year. I'll have more details on that as we get more details on it, and I'll also cover it and discuss it here on the channel as we are discussing all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel, guys. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions and theories in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.